According to the 2021 Local Search Ranking Factors Survey, your primary business category is now the most influential factor that impacts the rankings of your listing. That's why it's important you choose it wisely. Depending on your business type, picking the right category might be trickier than you think. Let's say you're a dentist, for example. Should your primary category be dentist, cosmetic dentist, or perhaps dental clinic? My recommendation here is to choose the category that matches the service or product that brings the most revenue to your business. Alternatively, you can spy on your competitors' listings to see what categories they have chosen. You can quickly do this using a free Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere, which you can install on your browser. Once installed, go to Google Maps and search for a keyword you'd like your listing to rank for. GMB Everywhere will automatically overlay the categories for each business as part of the results. The star icon next to a category indicates it is the primary category this specific business has selected. All the other categories you can see are secondary categories. These businesses have also added to their listings, which are not visible to the public. To edit your business category, head over to Google and sign in to the Google account you use to sign up for a Google business profile. In the Google search bar, type the following, my business. This will bring up your Google listing or listings if you have more than one. Just click on the view profile button of the listing you want to optimize. This will display your Google listing panel along with the many options available to edit it. Click on edit profile. From the pop-up window, hover over the category section, then click on the pencil icon. From there, you will be able not only to modify your primary category, but also to add secondary categories you feel are relevant to your business. Use the GMB Everywhere extension to see what secondary categories your competitors have added to their listings. You can add up to nine secondary categories. You can also edit your categories through the Google Maps app. Once again, make sure you're also logged in to the account associated with your listing. Either search for your business name and scroll down to see the option available to update your listing or alternatively, tap on your account avatar to expand the menu, then tap on your business profile, then tap on your listing. Just tap on the edit profile button and on business information. You'll be able to edit your primary category and add secondary categories from there. And now for a hot tip. If your business is seasonal, here is a very important tip to take into consideration. Switch your primary category according to season. Here is a typical example of a cleaning company based in Toronto that offers multiple cleaning services with a greater focus on windows and eaves cleaning based on the title of their homepage but they also offer a snow removal service. If I go to Google Trends and search for how popular the keyword snow removal has been in Canada in the last 12 months, I can see the trend increases around September and October time and continues climbing until a massive peak in January. This makes a lot of sense as it will be the middle of the winter in Toronto when most of the snow will be falling. Let's do the same search, but this time look at window cleaning you can clearly see that the demand for window cleaning starts picking up right after the winter with a peak in May, which once again is logical. This is almost an inverted trend to the snow removal keyword. To capitalize on this, this business should set its primary category as window cleaning service in the summer and snow removal service in the winter, so they can rank higher for the relevant keywords when demand is high. But that's not all. When switching categories, you should also consider switching the page you link your listing to so it's in line with your primary category. In this example, if this business changes from window cleaning service in the summer months to snow removal service in the winter, I would also strongly recommend they link their listing to their snow removal page. It will make a huge difference to their rankings.